Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at the use of a subquery or subqueries in SQL. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so when we're talking about subqueries or a subquery, essentially we're talking about a query within a query. And so of course it'd be easier to understand this by looking at an example and we will get to that in a moment. But the purpose of a subquery is for aggregating or calculating um, particular queries that you have and also for simplifying your code in certain circumstances. It can also be used for joints and the examples we're going to be doing here are going to be focused primarily on joining data. So why don't I go ahead and show you our first line of code so that you can begin to understand what we're doing here. And once I share this with you, I'm going to share with you the data we're going to be using. So we're going to talk about the code here in a second. But essentially what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking data from two different tables, the salespeople data or excuse me, table and the dealership table. And so we're going to be answering various questions from that. And so in order to deal with two separate tables, you have to find something they have in common. So on your screen right now is just some of the rows from the salespeople uh, table and the, the key role here is going to be the dealership ID dealership underscore ID because that same information is also in the dealership table so basically we have some people who sell cars in the salespeople table we have who they are and then in the dealership table we have the different dealerships where they might work at and so essentially our first question that we're going to be looking at is which of these salespeople work in Texas that's what we're going to be looking at and so the reason we have to use these two separate tables is this in the dealership table. I don't have the salespeople. However, in the salespeople table, I don't have the information about the dealerships. If I'm able to get these two to work together, I'm able to answer the question or the query that I have right now. And so here we are, we're still looking at our code here. And a key thing before I go into the details of this is that a subquery must appear in parentheses. And so you can see that right here. Another important thing to realize is that a subquery can appear in three in multiple places. So for our purposes, this is an example of a subquery that is going to appear in the where clause. So you can see right here in line three is so this subquery is being used to, for like a filtering purpose. Um, they can also appear in the select and the from, and we will get to those in a second. So what's happening in this code? Well, number one, I want to select all columns from salespeople, but I want to limit that to what I have in this filter part in my where clause. So we're dealership ID in. So when the dealership ID in the salespeople matches this criteria right here. So where, in other words, where the state equals Texas, that's what's happening here. So this is my sub query is happening within my query in which I want to filter my salespeople only for people who work in Texas. So what you can see here is that essentially a subquery can be considered a join in this particular context. But when do we use a query and when do we use a join? It depends on how much data you're trying to pull. So if you're pulling a little bit of data, people often recommend a subquery. When you're pulling a lot of data, they often recommend a join. But either way, we're going to achieve our goal. So having said that, now you can see that all of our information appears here at the bottom. I have my salesperson, I have my ID, and then you can see that these are all the people who work in Texas. Okay, so all these dealership right here, uh, dealership ID 14, 9, and 3, these are all the ones that work in Texas, and we can verify that because the data set's not that big. So if I look at dealership number 19, you can see it's in Texas. If I look at 14, you can see it's also in Texas, and I believe the last one was three, also in Texas. So we know it works. So now we know the first and last name of all of my salespeople who work in Texas, as well as their username, gender, hire date, etc. So that's the power of this. Now, we can also use subqueries when we're dealing with a select clause. And so now we want to know uh, the city and not just the state. So tell me what city they work in in addition to what state they work in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this real quick. So again, we're using the same two tables. So now this time 
if you look closely, you can clearly see that now we were, we're still selecting all columns that are available, but we're putting a little bit of a caveat here. This is like another column we're creating where we're selecting CD from dealership and where the dealership ID is 19. So that's what we're doing. We're also going to be pulling from the salespeople table and we're also looking for when salespeople dealership ID equals 19. These have to be the same, otherwise we're not going to be able to achieve our goal. If we're filtering from the dealership table where dealership ID equals 19, we have to, we have to do the same as well on the outside, uh, outside of the subquery. So now we can go ahead and run this. And you can see here, we have all the information down here at the bottom. I hope you can, I'm sure you can see that. And so for the first one, we're only dealing with people from dealership number 19. And of course, over here is our new column city, and these are all people from Dallas. The way this particular query is set up, we can only do one city at a time. So if you remember, we had about three different cities. I believe for Texas, we had Houston, we had Round Rock, and we also had Dallas. So we'd have to modify the code in order to include all of those at the same time. So again, this is an example of where you took a subquery again it must be inside parentheses and we were able to put it inside the select clause now generally when you put it inside the select clause you're basically creating a new column and normally we want to name the new column so i gave my new column city so now what i know is i know all of my salespeople who work specifically at the dallas facility let's see if we can move on now so for the final one we're going to create a subquery in the from clause. This is often the, the first most common one that you know people learn for the first time from what I can tell in here. So let's take a look at the code. So again, we're selecting everything that we get and here's the from statement. So we're looking at S stands for salespeople. So first name, last name, because I wanna know the first, the last name, the city and the state that my people work in because remember this stuff is not in the same table. So again, we're doing salespeople first name, salespeople last name, dealership city, dealership state. This information is only found in the dealership table while it's the first and the last name is only found in the salesperson's table. And so here I'm saying from the salespeople table and also from the dealership table. And then I'm also telling them where the dealership ID for salespeople and the dealership ID for, um, dealership are the same. This is kind of like my join, if you will, if you want to look at it like that. But again, this is not set up the same as a join. So I press control enter and you can see all my information is right here. So now I know the names, the first and last name, the city and the state. So the way this is set up, I have all my information in one place. Remember there was a limitation in the last example where we pulled the information from the select column and that I could only have one city. But if you modify your code and you rethink how you approach it, now I have all of my cities and all of my states in one place and now I'm able to filter them as I need with the printout to see where all of my workers are working at. And so again, there's always a way to get your answer if you can find a way to code it appropriately. So this is the power of subqueries, which is basically like a way to pull data in an efficient manner for aggregating, filtering, or joining data or whatever in a way that sometimes will make your code easier to read. And so having said that, you know, let's wrap this up and just kind of review. So in this particular video, we looked at how to deal with and how to incorporate subqueries into your SQL coding. So there are of course three different places where you can put a subquery. They must always be in parentheses. They could be in the select statement, in the from statement, or the, you call a clause, or in the where clause, however you want to uh, call it, if you will. And as I already mentioned a few moments ago, they could be used for aggregating, filtering, or calculating fields. And often, at times, they can make or simplify your code in some context. And depending on the amount of data you want to pull, which we're going to argue on what's a lot and what's a little bit, Subqueries are often used when you want to pull a small amount of data, whereas joins are generally used when you want to pull a large amount of data. So I want to thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. My name is Darren Thomas.
I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. You have a great day and take care.